in this video we are going to be discussing about the template of writing the current work experience report so this is part of the requirement for you to be able to register as a corporate member the council for registration of engineering in nigeria i hope you understand so uh you can actually get the details about the how the report should look like so this is the front page of the report so it's a little bit different from the nsc but you can see a lot of similarities the the report you use for your nsc can easily be used for current i hope you get so the first thing here is the nigerian uh you know is a government uh setup so you have the nigerian coat of arm the federal republic of nigeria council for registration of engineering in nigeria and the current uh logo then you have your title page is going to be work experience reports impartial fulfillment for registration as registered engineer or technologist so those are the people that are probably going to be writing the report either you are registering as an engineer or technologist then you put your engineering discipline in my own case i'm going to put civil engineering then here is where you put your name so then your application id when you register you already have an application id you put your phone number and your email then this is going to be the month and the year so let's say for for instance if you are in the month of april it's going to be zero four and the year 2023 i hope that is clear then the next thing is going to be your cover page this is going to be left blank you now have your table of content so they are just giving you a you know this is a template this is just telling you what is expected so you should insert your table of content after the cover page then for your chapter one chapter one has to do with the introduction so this involves a summary of your academics and professional experience you just talk about yourself your experience so they now give an example just a simple example practice and understanding of engineering in either planning design production construction installation research each of all of that so that is going to be your chapter one so your chapter one is probably going to be a one page something you can see maximum of one page so then you now move to chapter two chapter two is summary of your work experience so i think they prefer you putting it in a table like this so you have period detail of project or activity duration and month your supervisor then there's something you should note before you be able to register as a either korean or ns you must have a senior engineer supervising you in the project you are you undertake i hope you understand because they assume that you are still learning i hope you understand so you must still be learning so that's what they assume so this is just a typical sample this is the date then your employer your position so you see here is training the project you undertake then the activity you undertake so and they give example preparation of annual maintenance plan each of all of that so then you put the duration the name engineer so 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 and the signature must be there i hope you get then uh, you just list your your summary of your experience let's say you you know is they say four years practicing before you will be able to apply for this so definitely you have a lot of uh experience within those four years if you are actually involved in engineering then you have your chapter three chapter three is the detail of those experience you've listed so it's just like a typical example of the nsc reports you can check out my video on nsc reports see it's much more similar so they actually subdivide this into into subdivisions starting from 3.1 this involves the name of the project you're involved in for instance this one is design of bridge along abuja lavia road then the project particulars meaning involving the client the consultant if you are involved as the contractor you also put it there the client 
the project costs, the consultant, the opposition, and the period in which you stay there. Then you describe the project. This, this should include the introduction to the project, that is, the aim of the project, what the project is aiming to achieve, the objective. Then you also have the relevant code and standard. So this should be a mistake because this is a template. It should just be a relevant uh, regulation code and standard. Because the, the example they use here is a bridge. So that's why you have the code for the bridge. These are the code used. Then the software you use. So this will include. So under this relevant regulation and standard, you include the code and also the software you use. So that's what they want you to do. So that is in case of design. So if you are involved in construction, you know what you are supposed to write. Then you demonstrate the extent of use of code, standard, manuals, and handbooks. Then the application of HSC standards to the area of practice. You, you explain how HSC is relevant uh, and, it, and how it is being practiced. Then the scope of work. For example, depend on which part of the project you are. So you, you have to explain what you actually do, your extent, the extent of your own parts. So then you explain your involvement in the project. So this is a, these are typical examples you can use, though depending on your own project, it will differ. Then you have challenges encountered and solutions. So you provide challenges, you can list them. And you prefer solution then you also have the experience gain you can see it's much more similar to the nse uh work experience technical reports so this is this is going to be your experience gain because this is a sample so they list some experience gain probably is someone's report then you now have your chapter four where you write your conclusion what you've learned so far and why you think you should be registered so you can see here that there's a statement that with regard to the professional engineering work experience i have gained so far i finally wish the current to consider evaluate and approve my application for an engineer in case of an engineer or for a technologist in case of hnd guys you put your name signature and date so then after that you now have chapter five the endorsement this is important so this is this is should you should be written just like the way you have it and you just try to personalize it where you need to personalize it so this is just an endorsement that you write then you put your name okay this is an endorsement from uh from some of your proposals so this is the first person you know you have two proposal so this is the first endorser his name and signature and stamp the second person his name and signature and stamp then you must now apply appendices you know for example the project that was used as a template here is about design because it's a consultancy firm the person actually undergo his practice in a consultancy firm so you should have design calculation sheets and each of these must be signed and stamped by a registered engineer on every pages then you also have design drawings so you attach all this as your appendices so that is basically the current work experience report that is what is expected of you so you have about four chap five chapters chapter one where you discuss about uh introduction about yourself your experience you've gained and all of that then your chapter two where you discuss about the detail of your uh experiences you put it in the table then chapter three where you explain it in details so then chapter four is conclusion chapter five is the endorsement part up you get then you also apply you attach appendices which can include calculation sheets which can include uh design drawings so that's how the report is expected to be so i hope with this video you've been able to learn or see a typical work experience report required for you to register with the current 
so i'm going to leave the this this pdf in the description of this video you can check it out and download it from there so that you can also have a copy so try to like this video please and share it with your colleagues thank you i will meet you in the next one